Um, I think for them, the one of the biggest things they can, the, one of the biggest things I think anyone studying Greco-Roman culture can learn is about their own culture. I mean, I just think there is an, an there is something inherent about studying another someone else's culture, right? be it another contemporary one or historical one, and being able to see your own culture in it, right? You see ourselves, we see ourselves in Greeks and Romans, right? Because they're people. And so I think there's an incredible um, uh, sort of, not a relationship that's developed like through time, right? But I think that in see in reading, you know, these are real people, they had real lives, and you have a real life too, right? And you're going through sometimes maybe the same things, right? Um, so I think for them, one thing they can get out about, out of studying, you know, antiquity is uh, understanding themselves more. And I think, I don't mean that in a specific sense, like, oh, we study Greece and Rome because it's influenced, say, the United States so much, or it's influenced Western history so much. Uh, that's very true and relevant and could be an answer to that. But I think... Uh, just making it more personal, right, is something that can be done too. I think it, it allows people to understand their own environment better. And that doesn't necessarily need to be in the United States or anywhere else. That's actually how to direct historically established influence, right? Uh, it could be anywhere. Um, it's so the classics have touched so many worlds, right? Talk, think of like post-colonial studies, right? I mean, wherever... Europeans went, they brought Greece and Rome with them. So uh, in that sense, there's Greece and Rome everywhere in the world. Uh, and it's, I think, incredibly relevant for people. So, so I think anyone, be it a student or, uh, you know, anyone in the public, right, studying Greece and Roman, you know, uh, Greco-Roman culture, why would they study this? They're going to study Greco-Roman culture because it gives them, especially an insight sort of in, from Greek history, of uh, the idea of questioning received culture. So if you want to think about uh, one of the lasting influences and in why we study Greek history and Greek culture, it's because uh, they had a penchant for analyzing things, right, and having critical thinking and, and criticizing their own contemporary environment in a way that created a discourse that was pushed the envelope forward, right? It moved history along uh, in a way I think that's incredibly important to understand uh, and to try to recapture in some way in our own contemporary discourse which sometimes could have a regressive quality to it uh, in terms of the, the quality of the discourse that's being had around ideas, right? Um, and so I think that being able to study that and recapture that it, in a way it could be inspiring for contemporary people to understand, hey, yeah, this is valid. Like people have done this in the past and here's maybe one way of doing it. Maybe not the right way, but uh, from that I can learn other ways of doing it too, right? And move my own uh, time period forward.